Hello friends, I welcome you to this learning workshop, which is about tolerations, helping you understand what are you putting up with. We often tend to get dragged down and overwhelmed by things that accumulate over time. And then we end up fluttering our minds. We may not really want to do anything right now about it, but just writing them out will help you raise your awareness and set you up to naturally start handling, fixing, and resolving all those things that you're putting up with and that has been fluttering your mind. So let's get started and get to work, which through this simple technique that I'm about to teach, will not only help you declutter your mind, but save you from draining your energy and slowing you down. So let's get started. Let's do the work. And for that, I would urge you to grab a pen and a paper. This is a time where, since we are trying to raise awareness, here's what we would do. We are going to make a list and write as many items as we can into this list to identify what is it that we are right now putting up with. If you need some examples, here are some examples of things that you must be putting up with right now. It can range from incomplete tasks, your frustrations, poor processes, procedures, to other people's behavior, the shoulds you have in your mind, the unmet needs, to even exercise, eating or sleep habits, office cleanliness, undone or filing of your office work. So while you're seeing this list, friends, what I really want to bring to your attention is this is about, uh, there's no hard and fast rule here. As we are raising awareness, just get your pen and paper and try to list as much as you could, taking this as an example. Your list can be generic in nature, or your list, to make it more easy, can also be specific specific to a person, specific related to your health, that there are certain things you are tolerating about it right now, you're putting up with, specific to your partner, your relationships that matter to you the most, specific to your job, to your work, or to your boss that is making, or maybe is a toxic boss, and, and your workspace is somewhere you struggle every day in, day out. So. It's completely your choice whether you just want to have a simple list or you would like to put it this way. Uh, giving it a category or a title, a heading, actually help you group it. And maybe it will also open you up to understand which area of your life there are maximum tolerations that you're putting up with. Because if you remember, our idea is to raise awareness and declutter our mind so that we do not slow us, ourselves down by draining our energy on unnecessarily being stuck in the vicious circle of all these that would cover up and has kind of enveloped us into overwhelm, into stress, and into utter chaos. And we just constantly are thinking what do I need to do next to get out of it? So once you know what is it that you're tolerating, what is it that you're putting up with in each of these areas, or maybe you create a general list, that will be your first point to bring to surface. It's like a diagnosis you're doing to help you understand in the present day today all the things you're putting up with. While you're making this list, 
please also make sure you are taking into account things of recent past. When I say that, by that I mean things you've been putting up with for the past, let's say six months or three months. Do not go too much into the past because that's not where you'll be able to find a way out. You, it can be as recent as a week's time, a month. Maximum go up till six months because that is the time period which will help you understand what's really decluttering, uh, sorry, cluttering your mind and where is it that you feel overwhelmed using this technique of either putting it under a specific category or creating a general list. Once you're done with your list, once you have, once you are ready with it, uh, you can do two more additional action items within it. First, not necessarily that you are completely ready the moment now that you're writing and working along with me. You will have new thoughts coming into your head as you recall all the things you've been putting up with. So don't worry. There are no hard and fast rule here. Just simply keep adding into the list. The second thing here is once you have a good number, then to that, Beneath each of what you're tolerating, write what action item do you plan to take to reduce your toleration and by when. By when here is the time period. Now, friends, this is basically a little bit of, uh, I'll try to simplify this for you. We are here, it's called cognitive restructuring where we are trying to rewrite the clutter we already have in our head and we've been putting up with into a systematic format so that our brain, which is a miracle in itself, will throw up answers to you. And you will find that when you put all that you've been tolerating and underneath each of it, you put what action will you take to reduce your tolerations and by when wherein you're putting a date or a day i suggest put a date a specific one and this is where you're subconsciously re-crypting the neurons which were earlier stuck up in the vicious circle of stress and because of all that you've been putting up with so the first thing you're doing is you're creating awareness by creating a list, which can be a general, uh, a long list, or a specific to a person, to an event, to your boss, to your job, whichever way you find it convenient, do so. Once you've done that, underneath each toleration or whatever you're putting up with, give an action item. What is it that you could do? You will be surprised when. Initially, you may not really find an immediate answer to all the action items that you could do, but you'll be surprised not just with what all will surface up when you write all that you've been tolerating for the past six months in various areas of your life, but at the same time, what actions that you could have done to reduce these tolerations and this has never struck you. And now, now that you're doing it, you will automatically find your brain will be throwing up brilliant ideas for you to reduce this. Take my word on that. And then when you say by when, you will also find a way out when you put a specific date to it. So don't uh, feel hesitant if you don't have your answers immediately right now. Just create the list and write one action that you're going to take to reduce it and by when and see the magic as it unfolds when you practice it. I just picked this one as an example from one of my a client that I was working with and for the person, this was an unresolved issues related to my low confidence. Here is 
a client my this is not my my and this person had a very i mean a myriad range of issues but this was something this person has been putting up for the past six months and when we inquired into this list we found that this was very significant so sometimes in our daily grind of life we we tend to overlook and when we really put our thoughts on paper and into a structure that i'm teaching you here you will find uh floodgates of ideas that will open up for you you will be recalling various memories and experiences and then when you put your list and the action the person would take to reduce this is what this person has been tolerating now in this action this person uh, i am not mentioning this here because i have a confidentiality clause with the with that particular client but what why i picked this example was to let you know this action item was very much related to the coaching program that he was enrolled in so sometimes one action that we could take and which we often do not is seeking support because we have all sorts of assumptions in our head thinking either we can solve it on our own or things will get resolved automatically none of this happens taking action also means friends reaching out for help so i urge you all to not hesitate or feel kind of second guessing there is help available so once you're ready with your list try to explore this part when you are writing the action item you are doing seeking help is also a wonderful action to get into by when is again depends on how ready and committed you are to bring that wonderful change in your life i wish you lot of insights wisdom as you use this technique and tap into your inner self and i just can't tell you how how happy i feel when my clients reach out to me after finishing creating their first list and not just that it also with the action items because now not just that they have raised their awareness about what they've been putting up with so many things for such a long period of time it's also about that they that the actions that they're going to do or take and by when is just tapping into their inner wisdom which often is also the end of finding a solution to the problems they've been stuck in for months so friends i just wish you the same i hope this method will help you not only raise awareness of how you've been and what is it all that you've been putting up with come back to this practice any time in your life whenever you feel overwhelmed very stressed out frustrated and utterly confused you can also share this with anyone you feel can benefit from it and i close this by giving you the last tip which is try to keep this completed list somewhere very obvious so that you can keep referring to it and keep adding your action items and all that you find a solution to you keep striking it off thank you